Day of the Dead, Day of the Triffids, Day of the Dolphin, Day of the Locust, Day in the District. <laughs> Okay, so I recognize most of those as scary movie titles, except for that last one, Day in the District. The only scary thing would be missing out on this event. That's your segue. <clears throat> Fort Worth, Texas is a city where culture and heritage collide. Known for its legendary western roots, our city embraces the arts and is home to some of the most beautifully designed museums and performance arts centers in the world. On Saturday, September 24th, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., nine cultural destinations will offer free admission. Likewise, many of Fort Worth's cultural organizations will offer free performances in and around each destination. We welcome you to enjoy the rich cultural experiences that Fort Worth has to offer during the fourth annual Day in the District. Day of the Jackal. Another annual event is coming up this October, and that is Texas National Night Out, October 4th, 2011. This year we will be celebrating not only that Fort Worth is one of the safest large cities in the nation, but that we also won the prestigious All-American City Award. The Fort Worth Police Department invites everyone to participate in the 28th annual National Night Out celebration. Residents are asked to turn on their outside lights and spend the evening outdoors with their neighbors and the police. Neighborhood crime watches, citizens on patrol, neighborhood associations, and other groups will be hosting events across the city. To find out more or to register your neighborhood association for National Night Out, visit the police department's website. And it will probably still be over 100 degrees outside, so drink lots of water. Chris, it's cooling off. Quit whining. Anyway, you can find out all the goings on in Fort Worth by going to the city's website at www.fortworthgov.org.gov. No, no, wait. fortworthgov.tx.org.gov. No, that's not it. fortworthgov.com.edu. Chris. It's okay. You aren't the only one who's confused. That's why starting October 1st, the city will have a new web domain name, fortworthtexas.gov. This will be so much easier for people to understand. But if you are used to the old web address, you can keep on typing it because it will still lead you straight to the city's webpage. Remember, October 1st, fortworthtexas.gov. Well, that's it for this edition of the Fort Report. I'm Chris Conley. And I'm Alicia Woodruff. Bye. <laughs>